Good morning, my beautiful. Let me turn my fan off here for a brief moment. I was a little too hot. Good morning, my beautiful Hershey Kisses. Today is May 28th. It's almost June. Today, our topic for discussion, do you know how unique you really are? Romans chapter 12, verse 4. Each one of us has one body, and that body has many parts. These parts don't all do the same thing. We are all unique. Just as each part of our physical body is unique and has a unique function. We all look different and we all have different temperaments, abilities, and talents. Our enemy, Satan, often tries to make us feel that something is wrong with us if we are not like people around us, but that is absolutely not true. Jesus has uniquely created each of us with his own hand for a special purpose, and we need to embrace who we are and not try to be like someone else. Although other people may set good examples that we want to follow, it's a big mistake to reject ourselves and try to be someone other than who we are. God's word clearly says that he gives each of us different abilities and that we are to use them, as noted at Romans chapter 12, verse 6. We cannot be someone else, and trying to do so will only frustrate us. I encourage you not to compare yourself with other people but to be fully your own special, unique self. Let's think about the different gifts that God gave each of us. When you look at Romans chapter 12, verse 6 through, I would say, 6 through 8, it shows the many different gifts that God has given each and every one of us. And we all have different gifts. Each gift came because of the grace God has given us. Some people have the gift of prophesying, and if you have that gift, then you should use that gift in a way that benefits the kind of faith that you have. Whoever has the gift, gift of serving should serve. Whoever has the gift of teaching should teach. Whoever has the gift of comforting others should do that. Whoever has the gift of giving to others should give generously. Whoever has the gift of leading should work hard to do that. Whoever has the gift of showing kindness to others, they should do it gladly. Your love must be real. And we are gifted in many different areas. Just because you don't have the gift that someone else may have, that does not mean that your gifts are not important. How important is it to show kindness for, to people, to serve other people? I get a kick out of serving people. I really do. I just do. What about if you have the gift of comforting people? Isn't that something that's very needed in this world? What about being a teacher? I love teaching also. So if you have these different type of gifts, gifts just because you don't have the gift of singing or dancing or, or, or something that you feel the world appreciates, you have to know the world appreciates people who are kind. The world appreciates people who know how to serve them. You know, like going to a restaurant and you have the waitress or the waiter serve you. How grateful are you on the days that you don't feel like cooking and this time you want to be served? I love serving and I love being served. And being able to bring people comfort when they're depressed, when they have anxiety and worry, and you have the gift to motivate people and to inspire people, honey... Please, those are beautiful gifts. And now it's time for your power thought. Well, actually, before our power thought, let's go to our Heavenly Father in prayer about this subject. Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Jehovah, thank you so much for making me unique. Help me use my ability to glorify you and to be a blessing to others. I ask you for this, Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Through your son, Yeshua, 
Jesus Christ. Amen. And now it's time for our power thought. May 28th. Reprogram your computer. Keep my commandments and live, and keep my law and teaching as the apple, the pupil of your eye. Bind them on your fingers. Write them on the tablet of your heart. Proverbs 7, 2-3 What we think and speak, especially if it is frequent, is written on the tablets of our hearts. It is embedded in our hard drive, so to speak. Just as a computer can put out only the information that is programmed into it, our hearts can put out only what is written on them. For out of the fullness, the overflow, the superabundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Matthew 12, 34. If you don't like the results you are getting from your computer and hard drive, you don't hesitate to get a new program or a new computer. And that is what you should do with your life. Start rewriting what has been programmed into your heart by choosing what you think and speak. Power Thought I think and speak God's Word. His laws are written on my heart. I agree with this Power Thought 100%. We have to be careful how we program our heart. And the way we can do this is to reprogram it by choosing what we think about and choosing what we talk about. We're going to try to talk about things that are positive and uplifting. Unfortunately, the truth sometimes is not always pretty. At the same time, we want to focus. We can speak the truth, but we don't want to focus too much on it because it's kind of negative when you look at the state that this world is in. But we can focus on things that are beautiful, things that are kind, things that are uplifting. Let me share another power thought with you, or better yet, a devotional with you this morning. Difficulties. That, you know that we learn more in our difficulties than we ever do in our good times. We learn more when we don't have anybody but God than we ever do when we've just got all the people around us that we want and everybody's providing for us. So don't despise the things that you go through because even though they're difficult, God will use them to make you so strong in him that he will then be able to use you for greater things than you could ever have imagined. That's a wonderful thought to think about and meditate on throughout your day. If you're going through difficulties, there's always a purpose. There's always a reason. And Jehovah God and Jesus Christ is always going to turn it to ben benefit you while you're also benefiting other people. And now you have a testimony to share with others in terms of how you manage to get through your hardships. Are you ready for your, yeah, our favorite part of the day? Our Bible trivia questions. Who was King David's father? You can find that at 1 Samuel chapter 17, verse 58. Which two disciples wrote Gospels? You can find that at Matthew chapter 10, verse 2 through 5. Lastly, in Psalms chapter 23, the Lord prepared a table in whose presence? Psalms 23, verse 5. So there you have it, my beautiful diamonds. What are you going to do today? I know. You already know. You're going to go out there and you're going to sparkle and you're going to shine and you're going to be the light in this very, very dark world. Why are you going to do that? Because you love God, you love Christ, and you know how much they already love you. And I love you as well. Sheila True Love. Twinkle, twinkle, twinkle.